All right, so we want to show you uh, our system for keeping track of all of our projects. We also use this when we're getting ready to go camping. It's actually super helpful because my brain gets overloaded. Tom's a planner. And if there's too many things in my brain, it just turns into like a big storm. Yep. All right, so here is our post-it note system. So these are the tasks that we need to, that we're hoping to get done today to get ready for fall. And these are tasks proportionate to what needs to be done yet. So should we show the big one at the bottom? Yes, we should. Yeah. <laughs> yep. 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 And should we show the one that's actually super fun that we get to do today? Um, that one. Oh yeah, that one is actually super fun. So um, we are going to head up to my grandma's for lunch today, but we're going to try and get a couple things done before we head out. It's about a two hour drive. Yep. And then when we get to her house, we're going to surprise her and it's going to be a lot of fun. And it's going to be fun. All right, so task one is to get the pool put away. Drain in the pool. We're also gonna do it this way. Yep, it's also dirty. And now I got wet socks. Do you think this is like folding a fitted sheet? I think that a fitted sheet would be like wonderful compared to this. <laughs> I don't even remember. We should probably go back and look at the video. I don't remember how this even came folded. I'm sure it was folded up really nice and neatly. In a really small box. Yeah. It was, as Tom folded it up, it was nowhere near, I should I would clip, of what oh, it came out. Yeah, I mean, but it how, never can. Right? How could you get it there? But we will say we were very happy with the saltwater chlorinator yeah. this summer. I neglected that thing like crazy and it only got gross one time. And that's because I think we had like a storm the night before and somehow like half the pool Drained lost its water. Got, yeah. And then I refilled it and I didn't rebalance the water. Mm -hmm. So we actually got some like salt testing strips so you can know <laughs> Tom never opened the package. So we Imagine literally- that dumped in salt and just ran the thing all summer and <laughs> it was fine it actually worked really well this is just like folding my white t-shirt <laughs> uh, first off you split it right down the middle and you fold it in half That's okay what we did here. okay same thing now we're gonna try fold <laughs> i'm kidding we're not well, maybe we will I'm making it up as a go if you have kids that are like pool swimming age, I mean, we used it with a little pool yeah. and now the chlorinator, we actually put it in the basement for safekeeping for mm -hmm. the winter. We could get a bigger pool next year, but honestly, mm -hmm. I don't it'll know if fine. our kids have earned it. I think we're going to no, just use the same fine. pool again. <laughs> that, I mean, that looks like, like exactly like how it came in the box. It is. This is about like four times the size of the box. Well, <laughs> oh, that's fine. It'll be fine. All right, so rip that post-it note down. And we also had this pine tree that had been leaning since we lost the oak tree. Yeah, like when we lost the oak tree, like five other trees kind of like leaned with that same storm. They all kind of moved the same way. But this one especially was hanging and it bugged the heck out of me. Like every <laughs> time I had a chainsaw, I'm like, can I please just take that tree down? Because if I don't take it down, it's going to come down on its own. Right. And what we couldn't exactly tell is that the way Tom wanted to drop it so it didn't affect any of the other trees was, was it going to hit the power line? We're trying to estimate if that tree that's leaning when it drops, if it could possibly hit the power lines. I don't think so, Tom. Yeah, at the most. Yeah, that's always deceiving to know. Like, it's so it hard gonna... to like eyeball it, right? And yeah. so luckily it ended up not it being wasn't anywhere anywhere near. close like adeline's like oh i can't believe you thought it was gonna hit that i'm like adeline you just if something like yeah. that were gonna happen it would happen to your father so <laughs> like Very you just want to try and yep. err on the side of safety mm -hmm. so you actually dropped that really quick got it down got it cleaned up and then we're just gonna keep that wood for that wood we'll yep. let it dry out a little yep. bit and then tom will chop it up but, chop it up in the logs and yeah. yeah i just hate seeing those tall trees go because um, oh, it takes forever to get them back. Yeah. Like, we planted hundreds and hundreds of trees, but it's going to be decades before you yeah. appreciate them. Which is actually what we're going to do when we get back from my grandma. So now it's time to head to grandma's house. She lives about two hours away, so we're trying to plan it out so we got there at lunchtime. So here's what had happened. 
she called a little while back and uh, I knew she had gotten a new mattress and I was like, oh grandma, how how is your new mattress? I was really hoping she was gonna be like, I love my new mattress, it's going great. And she was like, I have not slept well since I got it. And what made it worse was that she tried to use the the store refund policy. She bought it from a local store yeah. and um, they said that it didn't qualify for various reasons. So she was very upset that she had spent this money now she had a mattress she didn't like, and they right. were gonna charge her to remove they it. They were gonna charge her to take it away. And then I kind of felt like a punk too, because I'm like, here Tom and I are like saying like, we love our Helix mattress, we sleep great. We sleep so well on it every single night. And then my poor grandma is like having lousy sleep. Right. So I got off the phone with her. I'm like, grandma, give me a half hour. I'm gonna see what I can do. I reached out to Helix. They responded right away. They were like, yes, we will definitely send your grandma a mattress. Mm -hmm. And so, that was so kind of them. And so we kind of walked her through, there's the online sleep quiz that you take so you can get a good match. Tom and I have the Dusk Lux, which is a little bit firmer. And I, I knew from talking with my grandma that that wasn't quite what she was gonna want. So we went um, just a touch softer, which, which is the midnight. Yep. And so we brought it to our house. So she didn't believe it was a mattress, I think. Well, cause we we, Tom walks box. in with this box <laughs> and I knew, I knew what was going through her mind is she was like, how is She's that like, going to be any better than this? You like, bring in here? <laughs> yeah. So we had lunch. She fed us first, and then first though she had gotten one of those like foam toppers. It was a four inch it one. It was huge. Try and make this fit in that. Yeah. If you can do that. <laughs> to try and make her mattress more comfortable. And so she had the little box it came in and I was like, there's no way Tom's gonna fold it up and put it back in there. No, I actually said, there's no way I'm gonna fit this in the box. And I I'm said, like, what do you think I'm a miracle worker? And you're like, well, you could just put that back in the box, right? <laughs> I'm like, just try it. I'm like, my grandma just wants you to try, just at least show an effort, right? I'm like, fine, I'll try. My grandma was laughing <laughs> so much. It was, she was like, this is the best thing I have seen in a long time. And so, that was impressive that you got I that back in there. I was shocked. <laughs> but then we went to roll up the Helix mattress and what did you tell her about that? I told her, I was like, there's no way this mattress is going to go back in that <laughs> box again. No way. So uh, we did the magic. We rolled it out on her yep. bed, watched it inflate. I knew my grandma was super skeptical the whole oh, time of this like yeah. show that we're doing. We're putting <laughs> yeah. on her. We're like, really grandma, we've had our mattress for over a year and now. We like, love it. <laughs> Please don't throw away my old one in case this doesn't work out. And we're like, no, you're good. We'll hang on to it. Yeah. So we actually brought her old mattress back with us yep. um, just, just in case. And then I told her, I'm like, in all seriousness, grandma, there is a hundred night, a 100 mm. night sleep guarantee with this mattress. Yep. So if you don't love it, will you please tell us? And then we're going to mm. switch it out and make sure you get the right one. And so we got it all uh, set up. She kind of like sat on it a little touch. She was like, okay, this is legit. This is yep. real. So then we, it was probably a few days later. Mm -hmm. We had been like missing calls with her. And so then this is what she had to say about her mattress. Hey grandma. Yeah. Oh, there, my dear. And how are you doing? I'm good. How's your new mattress? And be honest. I love it. Do you? I tried to call you before, but other the other day, but nobody answered the phone. I'm no, sorry. I I've, I've been meaning to call you back because I really did want to know how like your new mattress is. It's heaven. Oh, good. I'm really glad to hear that. I know, but thank you very much. It just yeah, you know, that other one. I I don't know what it is in it, but there's something that I I just cannot. Yeah. I, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Well, good. I'm really glad oh, to hear well, that. It's great. I really thank you very much. So I'll let you go. I All right. We'll talk to you later. Bye, Grandma. Yeah, let me too. Bye. And again, my grandma is not one to, I don't know, it's blow smoke the right word. She's not going to say she likes something she's, just to make you feel good. No. So, so for her to have responded that way was like, we were really glad to what? hear that. <laughs> like she yeah. loves it. I was so glad to hear that. All right, my brother is rolling in right now. With a semi, with a semi. and a grain trailer, as you can see right here. <laughs> They're gonna combine our corn today and take away our privacy fence. So Tom's gonna go uh, run him back, him back to the yeah. farm, and then and then we gotta keep moving. And we'll be back. This is how our days get hijacked, right? So, oh yeah, uh, always something. We cut down a tree, we're gonna plant a bunch of trees in its place. Like a lot a of lot. trees. All right, we have about four trees left. How are you feeling? I'm feeling like... We, I feel like we do this regularly that we <laughs> usually have great big uh, ambitions and ideas. Yeah. And then we start them and we're like, what were we thinking? It was a lot of work. <laughs> 
Looks good though. I like these spiky ones. They're kind of fun. Yeah, I wasn't sure. Like I got these ones not not knowing if you were going to like them or not. I yeah. just wanted a good variety and so I thought, well, go for it. But then yeah, you were pretty happy I got them. So. I like them and they fill out really nicely so I think they'll be... Yeah, they just look kind of funny when they're little. Yeah, because they have they like... as they get bigger, they kind of turn into a big ball. They have like full-size needles on a little baby tree. Yeah, so. yep. Yep. Good work. So, I mean, over the five years since we've lived here, we've probably cut down a dozen trees or 20 trees, but we have been working our tails off to plant I'd more trees. I'd say we've probably planted <laughs> three plus hundred trees. Yeah, so um, so we wanted to plant some more this fall. Fall's our favorite time of year to plant trees. And so Tom got 60 spruce trees, various kinds. How big were they? The little, little ones kind of. were 18 inches. And so what we wanted to do is plant them fairly close together now, knowing that we'll spade out some of them over the years yeah. and then leave a row that's going to protect the new shed yep. and just our northeast corner, northwest yep. corner of our property. Yeah. By new shed, Don means the moved shed. Yeah. Yep. And so luckily Tom had gotten a, what's that, like an auger attachment for mm -hmm. the skid loader? <laughs> Because all the Super other ones you handy. drug, but you dug by hand. Yep, yep. <laughs> uh, we're learning as we're getting older and smarter. We're learning. So he went and drilled the holes, and then we were working to mm -hmm. to plant them. So that actually, how many hours do you think it took us to plant sixty trees with uh, doing it that way? Only a couple. You and I yeah. tag teamed planting them. So we actually made pretty quick work of mm -hmm. getting those in the ground, and we're learning now. Every time we go to a grower and get trees, we like pick their brain, mm -hmm. and he's like, it is all about the fertilizer. And we thought it was all about water, but he said fertilizer mm -hmm. is the biggest thing. So mm -hmm. he hooked us up with some good fertilizer mm -hmm. and we'll keep watering them. Yeah, and we actually got the fertilizer from him. So we're like, okay, this is the yeah, stuff. Yeah, this is the stuff. Yep. So we'll see. So hopefully moving forward, we're going to have better and better luck. Super optimal growth yield per year of height. That's the goal. <laughs> That's the goal. <laughs> so we're like five years in. We're, <laughs> we just learn a little more yep. each year. So we cut down trees, which leaves... Stumps. So... You've been wanting to do this for a couple of years. Yeah, uh, because I've been accumulating stumps over the years. Mm -hmm. I rented a stump grinder from a local rental place mm -hmm. um, and uh, taught Corbin how to run it. <laughs> and, uh, Corbin ran it and he he ground one stump. Okay. And then uh, I ground the rest just because it kind of took a while. Yeah, so like the pine trees went pretty quick. The pine trees, it burned through those pretty fast. And the oak, that was fairly rotten, so that The oak was rotten, too bad. so that was just like some some roots kind of poking through that I'd hit with the lawnmower, so I ground that down. Mm -hmm. uh, the maple stumps, those took a while. And they make ones that would go on like a skid loader mm -hmm. that go faster, but that's the rental place. Or they so make like they pull have, behind right? ones you can pull behind your vehicle. Oh, nice, okay. Um, those are pretty hardcore, that's not what we rented. So how many hours did it take? <laughs> Um, I probably had like 10 to 12 hours in the grinding stump. Yeah. yeah. And then we also, um, piggybacked it with a friend who had a bunch of stumps. So mm -hmm. then I hauled it over to his house and we ground his stumps too. So yeah. So that we worked out pretty good. One, so. so those were kind of the big things, um, that Tom really wanted to get done. On my end, I try to just take care of getting the bushes trimmed before winter. All right. I have my master bush trimming team hey, here, dogs. right? And puppies <laughs> harassing us. <laughs> All right, so Gage chose the biggest one. It's like twice as tall as you, Gage. That's pretty impressive. So let's trim them down to the black line under the window, okay? Oh. Can we use that as a guide? I know. Anytime it rains, these bushes Not just bottom. take off and like double in size. So it still has a lot of room. Is that how you're getting it to fit more? Yeah. <laughs> good work. That looks good. And then emptying out the flower pots. All right, I rounded up my helpers and we are gonna empty all of our flower pots. We had the first like hard frost last night, so they're done. Um, and so it's nice having kids old enough to help now. I think if we each grab a couple and go dump them, that it won't take long at all. So here we go. It was sad this year. And usually my flowers are dead by this time. Like I've killed them off throughout the summer. Yeah. They looked so good this year still. So it made me a little sad to dump out the flower pots, but had to be done. We pulled out yep. the flowers in front of the barn and everything. And and then um, I didn't show up, but then pulled out the garden too. It was good. The kids helped me a lot. It's funny because Tom doesn't always love the kids helping because he's, he's like so particular and you want things well, like... Well, or I just want to get it done. And I'm like, 
go ahead. This is the whole point of having kids these ages now. I'm like, go at it with the bushes. They did. They trimmed the bushes all by themselves, and they did a great job. Yeah, well, they'll so, grow back again. And, and they grow back, so. right? Yeah. No. So it's I. It's like a haircut. It, well, actually, it may not yeah. grow back. But. <laughs> no, like this year, getting the flowers pulled out and the <laughs> it, like, it took like no time at all. So I was, I was really grateful for that. Emptied my soul. You've heard it all before. Honest, but I know. Uh -huh. Left these years ago, I was young and I'm old, still care for the void. Oh. We don't need the past in our lives for tomorrow. Never see the end of the night for the sorrow. What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done, what do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done. What do we do to love? 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 When everything's said and done. Take the driveway. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I was gonna get it out. Stop! Stop! It's gonna snow. You just have to get used to it. It's gonna happen. <laughs> I know it's your favorite part of year. <laughs> Every it's like everything hinges around the ground freezing and, mm -hmm. and so yep. um yeah. Darn those spikes. <laughs> you gotta know where to plow snow. Yeah. But and then Tom has been working on the shed. You had been- Round the clock. Yeah, you had worked to um, run, like to dig a trench to run electric and water. Yeah, so in Minnesota, we have to go six to eight feet down for water so that mm -hmm. it, pipes don't freeze. So I did that and I ran water into the shed and then I backfilled up a couple feet and then I ran electric into the shed and then I backfilled a couple more feet. And then I ran a tile line so that when we do drains in the floor of the shop, that'll drain in and go out and be yeah. done. So that for sure had to get done before the ground mm -hmm. froze. So that was a, a fair amount of work. So mm -hmm. Tom's been working on it and it's just a slow process to get it all done. But well, one man by yourself on a ladder. Yeah. Takes a long time. Totally. It's a, actually, it's a very big building. Mm -hmm. Yep. So it's coming together. Mm -hmm. So I'm feeling, I'm overall, I'm feeling pretty good about getting ready for fall i'm not i don't want it to be cold here in minnesota it's already been no. cooler this week and it's it's a it's a bummer but it's been a beautiful fall so mm -hmm. won't complain and yeah so now they're gonna start harvesting here and then it's really gonna feel like winter yeah, around there should here be a combine rolling in any moment <laughs> yeah so <laughs> it'll be good but then we just yeah hunker down for winter and Get out of here. Look forward to it. <laughs> we have to make our plans to go south this winter. That yep. gives us something to look forward to. Yep. <laughs> so we would love to know what you're up to this weekend. What do you do at your house to get ready for fall? Do you have to do anything at your house yeah, to get ready for fall? fall? <laughs> yeah. So uh, we would love to, to know that. But otherwise, we hope that you have a great weekend and we'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.